hello future engineers welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't yet subscribed please do so if you like what i do uh, i will upload lecture videos and sample problem videos for your own benefit so please share to your friends and your fr friends friends that's the only way you can help me promoting my channel so here is the problem on energy methods for the beam loaded as shown determine the slope and deflection at a and d at point a use virtual work method and at d use casigliano second theorem ei is constant so here is the given figure first summation moment e equals zero to solve for reaction at b so by times 12 minus 15 times 14 minus 25 times 5 times 6.5 2.5 plus 4 is 6.5 so by is equal to 2045 over 24 kilonewtons so let's put it there summation moment about b equals 0 re times 12 plus 15 times 2 minus 25 times 5 times 5.5 so R sub E is equal to 13.15 over 24 kilonewtons. So let's put it there. And there will be four segments. So these are the chosen sections. You can make your own if you want. Then the answers must be the same. Next for the unit virtual work. That's the beam. Uh, let's solve for the slope at a first so this is the positive direction so for a virtual work method that's that couple is one so reaction here which is upward times 12 summation moment a equals one so therefore the reaction here is one over 12 summation versus y equals zero so the reaction at a is one over 12 downward and we have the same sectioning so therefore EI theta A equals integral from 0 to 2 of negative 15x, then negative 1 dx. So, due to original loads, the moment here is negative 15 times x. Positive is clockwise, supposedly, unless otherwise it is in the right, so counterclockwise positive. Then the moment at the section due to the couple is negative 1. Then plus in this section here, integral of 2045 over 24 times x minus 15 times 2 plus x. Then times 1 over 12 times x minus 1. So that's a moment in this section due to the virtual forces. Then in this section here, plus integral 1315 over 24 times x. Then times negative 1 over 12 times x for the small m dx. Then lastly, in this section, plus integral of quantity 1315 over 24 times 4 plus x minus 25 times x times x over 2 or minus 12.5 x square. Then due to virtual load, negative 1 over 12 times 4 plus x. So using your calculator there, the first integral is 30. For the second integral, after simplifying negative 5905 over 32 the value of the integral here is negative 2630 over 27 and in this integral it is negative 675.752 combining these values theta a can now be found is equal to negative 927.69 over ei Next, for delta A, let's apply unit upward load at A. So, due to this unit upward load, the reaction here would be negative or downward. So, downward reaction times 12 equals 1 times 14. 1 times 14 over 12 is 7 over 6. So, this is 7 over 6 downward. And this is 1 over 6 upward after uh, summation moment B. 1 times 2 equals reaction at d times 12 so 2 over 12 is 1 over 6 upward therefore ei 
delta A is equal to integral of negative 15x times positive 1x dx. The moment here is 1x positive. Plus integral 0 to 3, we copy this, 2045 over, over 24x minus 15. 2 plus x, the moment here is 1 times x plus 2 or 2 plus x. Then minus 7 over 6 times x dx. Next in this section, uh, integral of from 0 to 4, 13, 15 over 24x, then times 1 over 6x dx. Then lastly, plus integral of from 0 to 5 of 13, 15 over 24 times 4 plus x minus 12.5 x squared times quantity 1 over 6 times 4 plus x. That's the small m. So the first integral here is negative 40. This one is 5, 9, 0, 5 over 16. This integral is 5 to 60 over 27. And this integral is 1351.505. Combining, we can now compute delta A. Delta A is equal to 1875.38 over EI. Then for Castigliano's second theorem, we apply a couple C counterclockwise at D. That's the positive slope. Then the reaction here due to C alone, because this is due to actual loads, is just combined with the effect of C. So it is upward. Reaction, summation moment E. Reaction times 12 equals C. So therefore, this is c over 12 so the reaction would be 2045 over 24 plus c over 12 likewise here should be 1315 over 24 minus c over 12 so same sectioning ei theta d is equal to integral from 0 to 2 of negative 15x then 0 because the partial derivative of negative 15x with respect to the couple is 0 there's no c plus integral of 0 to 3 of quantity 2045 over 24 plus c over 12 times x minus 15 times quantity 2 plus x. The differential is x over 12 dx. Derivative of this is x over 12 dx. Then in this section here, plus integral of quantity 1315 over 24 minus c over 12 times x. The differential is negative x over 12 dx. And lastly, in this section, plus integral 1315 over 24 minus C over 12 times 4 plus X plus C, then minus 12.5 X squared. So there is plus C because of this. Then the differential is derivative of C is 1. Derivative of negative C over 12 times 4 plus X is negative 4 plus X over 12. So prior to integration, set C 0. So if this is 0, integral 2045 over 24x minus 15, 2 plus x, close times x over 12. So the value here is 0. This one is 1325 over 32. This is integral of 1315 over 24x times negative x over 12 because this C is 0. So the value is negative 2630 over 27. So this is 13 integral of 1315 over 24 from 0 to 5 times 4 plus x minus 12.5 x squared c is 0, take note, and times 1 minus 4 plus x over 12. The value of this integral is 126,175 over 216. So combining these values, theta d can now be found. is equal to 5 to 8.14 over ei. Then for delta D, we apply a force P upward at D because we want delta D to be always positive. And if it is negative, then that's the final answer. So due to the P alone, summation moment B E equals 0, so reaction times 12 plus P times 4 equals 0. So the reaction here due to P is negative P over 3. So therefore, it was previous reaction due to actual loads, 2045 over 24 minus P over 3. 
So the reaction here would be 1315 over 24 minus 2 thirds of P. Because due to P, this is 2 thirds of P negative. Uh, P times 8 over 12 is 2 thirds P. So negative downward supposedly. So therefore, EI delta D is equal to integral negative 15x times 0 dx plus integral 0 to 3 of 2045 over 24 minus p over 3 quantity times x minus 15 times 2 plus x derivative is negative x over 3 dx plus integral of quantity 13 15 over 24 minus 2 thirds p times x differential is negative 2 thirds x dx then lastly in this section plus integral of 13 15 over 24 minus 2 thirds p times quantity 4 plus x plus p times x minus 12.5 x squared derivative is x minus 2 thirds of 4 plus x dx. So prior to integration, set p is 0. So the first integral here is 0. This one is 2045 over 24 times x minus 15 2 plus x times negative x over 3. The value is negative 165.625. For this integral of 13.15 over 24x times negative 2 thirds x, the value is equal to negative 779.2593. Then the value here, this is ignored, ignored, and the value of the integral is negative 2336.5741. Combining values, then delta D can now be computed equal to negative 3281.46 so that's it